So our bike is dying and good thing that here in China they have these little machines that can charge your bike for like a couple of RMBs. They're very helpful. What are you doing? Hopefully this one works. Let's see. We have to find the right one. Do you have coins? I don't know. I'm going to go check that thing. Right now I'll go check it. Yeah, it works. <coughs> Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. DJ's Adventure Archives. <laughs> and today we have a new adventure. We Remember? are in Yangzhou right now. And we are going to check out a place that we've been wanting to check out for a while. We usually hang out there and drink in front of that place. Um, but we don't know if we can go in it. But now I have made done some research. And I know now that we can go inside it. It's like a... A mausoleum for the Han Dynasty, I think, something like that. But I'll let you guys know a little bit more about it when we go in. But here it's in Yangzhou, next to Daming Temple and next to Slender West Lake. But yeah. And we are on the Dragon Boat Festival. Um, holiday? We, holiday, yeah, yeah, holiday. We have one day off. We had Friday off plus Saturday and Sunday, which we always have. So yeah, we've been relaxing here in Yangzhou. We didn't we decided not to travel out of Yangzhou because we still haven't seen this. So yeah we want to see something here yeah. that we haven't seen. And sorry for not posting because what happened to the VPN? Yeah the VPNs are off right now like due to political reasons. Um, the Express VPN hasn't been working for us at all. So we have a temporary like free VPN but it's not that good compared to Express. So as soon as we get Express back on this video is gonna go up and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and follow us to our adventure to the mausoleum <laughs> yeah let's go you guys and this is since we are in summer look at all these mosquito bites oh my goodness so many mosquito bites it's annoying Let's go. So this is what is the name of it then? Oh, here it is. The name Yangzhou Ancient City Site Tang Dynasty. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. That's just the gate. The, the Tang City ruins. Let's go.
Okay guys, so this big old building that we just went into, that you guys saw, or this whole area. I'm so curious about this place. Yeah, we, we wanted to go in here, come in here for a while because, like I said, we usually hang out in front of it because it's so beautiful here. And we drink there and hang out and play music. So we've always wanted to come in, but we always hang out here like around night. I think the night. thing that attracted us the most was the big red doors. Yeah, they were nice. And so yeah, it's basically just a muscle, it's a mausoleum for the Tang Dynasty, something like that. I don't really know much about it, honestly, but I just know that... Everything, everything in here is written in Chinese. Yeah, so we can't read anything. What is this? <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's a tomb. Like, they, there's people buried here that were from the Tang Dynasty that were very important, I guess. I don't know, and they built this for them. So yeah, that's what it is. It's a big tomb, a uh, mausoleum. Okay, so now we're gonna do Chinese with Hyro. Okay, ready? What what new words do you have for I'm us? I'm gonna teach you guys. Go back. Go this way, yes, because it's dark. Okay, so the first word that I have learned is Tainisha. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but they understand when I say it. It means weight. <laughs> and another one is Shaopian. 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 Yeah, something like that. Like yeah, the kids the, the kids use this a lot. I think and it then, means I want to take a piss. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's P, yeah. And then well, yeah. uh Reshum is she Shisho. Shisho. Now time for Chinese with Daisy. Go to the restroom is Shisho. Something like that. And the Daisha. E twenty six. Twenty six? Arshaleo. Arshaleo, 26. What about 31? Sansha. No. Sansha. Sansha Yi. Yeah, Sansha Yi. So we know the numbers pretty well. Okay. No, just count from 1 to 20. No, I can't, I think. Yeah, you can. Jo. Shi. Sha yi. Sha yi sha arsha. Sun. Sha wu. Sha sha wu. Sha leo. Sha chi. Sha chi. Sha ba. Sha Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But yeah, we know the numbers. Oh, let me tell them one more. So, you know, like the numbers, we know all the numbers. So that means that we know how to say months and we know how to say weeks. So like uh, Monday is Qin Shi Yi, basically day one. Qin Shi Yi, Qin Shi R, Qin Shi San, Qin Shi Si, Thursday, Qin Shi Wu, Friday, Qin Shi Liu, and then Qin Shi Tian. And the months are Yi Yue, R Yue, San Yue. So yeah, that was Chinese with Haido and Daisy today. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you guys, little by little we're learning. Yeah. But we definitely need to go take a class because we need to learn the actual like full-on sentence because it's really hard. It's a very difficult language. I mean, look at those, look at those like characters. Like I said, I am learning from my students. <laughs> That's what I'm learning from. But like little words, I always hear them say the same words all the time. So I always ask, what does this word mean? So every time I hear this word, I know what it knows. I know what it means. But yeah, where are you learning your English from? What's I mean I Chinese. Mean, just because I have to. Like to get around and like, I can order at restaurants, I can... Like I say, all my numbers. I can tell. I can guide a taxi where I want to go. So I needed to live here. I needed to survive. So that's how I've been learning little by little. But I definitely next year, if I stay, we stay another year. Um, I will take a Chinese class for sure. I have to. <laughs>
we ended up coming home after all because I'm tired. Heidel's tired as you can see in the back. And we're driving for like an hour looking for your bike. <laughs> Why? Um, last night we were at a bar and then we were going to another bar and my bike died and I left the charging at one of those charging kiosks like the one that Daisy showed you and I don't remember where which one I left it camera died so we're using the GoPro so we're ending the vlog here right what do you guys say anything yeah that place was awesome um, and it was very nice and the wall everything there was amazing so if you're in Yangzhou and you feel like doing something for really cheap 30 RMB to get in check out the Yangzhou mausoleum the the Tang dynasty mausoleum anyways now we are gonna hang out and I'm waiting for Ruben because he's gonna take me to continue to look for my bike so I really hope I can find my e-bike and yeah this is where we're gonna end it anyways thank you guys for watching and um, like subscribe comment <laughs> yeah bye stay tuned